hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here hi my name is katie and i'm so excited you're here today's video is one i've been looking forward to for a while and i am officially moving today so i am a travel nurse and i relocate every couple you know months or so or um, whatnot i have been traveling around the phoenix area for about a year now almost yeah about a year and i am just so excited to change up my space i've been here at this um place for six months which is absolutely crazy um and so now i'm gonna go spend a couple months over in this new place so i am moving into scottsdale i absolutely adore scottsdale it's so fine and it's where i love to be so I am hoping that I can get this move done in a couple hours. Being a travel nurse, I don't have to worry about moving furniture or anything like that because none of it's mine. Um, I just have to move my clothes and like I have clothes, bath and body, some kitchen stuff, like some kitchen stuff. Um, but really that's all I carry on me. So I'm really hoping I can get this in one car load over there and just unpack her and enjoy my new space so i want to take you guys along for the day with me i'll show you guys my new place um it is a little bit different i will have a roommate at this place but i'm still so excited and i can't wait to see this space so before i get my day started for real with moving i am gonna go get a coffee from starbucks because i just feel like i need a huge caffeine wake up and i have three star or <laughs> I have enough stars to get a free drink at Starbucks so I mean this is like the perfect day to do it am I right so let's go get a coffee and then we're gonna start moving all of this and organizing and hoping that we can get this move done in a couple hours Starbucks is usually so crazy in the morning, so I decided I would do that and order ahead. Yeah, because I live right down the street from the Starbucks and I don't want to like have to wait in a crazy line. So let's go pick up my coffee and then we're going to come back and then we're going to figure out the best possible way to move everything. I have so much stuff, but not too much stuff. So on the way to get coffee. I am back from Starbucks. I got a pumpkin cream cold brew because it is Halloween weekend and so I have to be festive but I'm ready to go. I've already like drank a little bit of this and I am ready to pack up this whole place. I'm so excited. I'm gonna turn on some music, probably some Chris Brown and we're gonna jam out and get all this packed up and I will check back in with you guys once we are actually ready to, to move this stuff. So I'm very excited for today. I cannot wait, let's get to it. This is my current packing situation. So I have all my suitcases packed up, shoes, that bin is all like jeans, sweatpants, all that, bathroom, shoes, miscellaneous, uh, more clothes, bathroom. I have all of this kitchen stuff to put away and my clothes. So I have those left to do. 
um, oh, dirty basket with some purses and extra stuff, and then my closet. So what I have to do now is these black hangers are not mine. So I have to go through all my clothes that have like the black hangers on them and switch them over to the white hangers. And then like, and what time is it? It is, um, 10.45. So we're almost there. So maybe another half hour. And I still have, um, my, this is my, um, laundry room. So just a couple things to pack in here, but I do have two tubs, which is really exciting. These little containers. So I'm really pumped. I think I honestly downsized so much from when, so when I first moved here, I was able to pack everything in one go from Kansas to Missouri or Kansas to Arizona. And then it got pretty heavy because I bought a lot of stuff when I got here and I just downsized again. So I really, really hope that I can fit everything in one car load. My closet is officially done. I switched over all the hangers. I brought everything out to the living room. Actually, I'll just turn my camera around. All that we have, shoes, extra tennis, like sneakers and stuff. I put all of my designer stuff in this bag. So shout out St. Laurent for this ginormous bag. And now I just have kitchen and any miscellaneous stuff in the laundry room. We're getting close. It's 11, almost 11.15. We're doing it, we're doing a good time. So hopefully I can get this done in another hour at max and then we'll actually get to moving. I really don't have that much stuff. So it's kind of nice. So we'll just keep on going. It is time. Time to start packing and the key to this is it's one big puzzle. So clothes will be lost that are on hangers. I'm gonna start taking out like the containers and suitcases and try to puzzle it all in there. So let's see if I can fit everything. This is gonna be like probably the tedious part I think so. Wish me luck. Okay, we're almost done putting all this stuff in my car and then we do the clothes. But I want to show you guys something that I think is like a major hack for moving. This is a wagon. Literally so essential for moving. Like instead of having to individually carry out all of these bins, I just pack that full and wheel it out so it saves a lot of trips. However, what's sad is that when I get to my new place, I live on the third floor. And it's like a condo, it's not an apartment complex. So that's going to suck. But we're not gonna think about that right now. We're just going to get my car packed up. But we're almost to the close. But anyway, you need a wagon if you're moving because it's like so essential. <sighs> I'm sad. So I almost was able to get everything. Um. I still have like half my closet and there's literally not a spot in my car. And I still have um, this big bag. So I was unsuccessful getting everything packed into one load. But this is good to know because that means I really need to downsize if I'm going to be taking a contract anywhere outside of 
the state of Arizona, which that's likely for the future. So I'm gonna have to figure out where to downsize because I got rid of so many clothes. So we're, we're really gonna have to reel it in and figure out what I need and what I don't need. So anyway, we're gonna go, go ahead and take the first load over and then I'll come back and get the little things. There's really not much left, thank God, but yeah, now I know. I mean, I did get a new car too, but in between like the first time I moved out here. So maybe it's a little bit smaller, but I don't know. So anyway, let's go move over to the new place and then we will come back here after a little bit, but let me show you guys my current car situation. Okay, you guys, we are so full. I have literally no room. When I tell you that we're full, we are at capacity in this car. So, yeah. Um, so now I'm gonna go to. Oh, yeah, I can't even see. <laughs> I think I know where I'm going, but now I am going to go to the new place. We'll unload all of this and come back for the rest. There's really not a lot left, but there is still some left. So, you guys, I'm sweating so much. I I emptied out my car, and I'm going to go back for the rest, and then I will show you guys the place, or at least like my room and um, and whatnot. So. I'm happy I got the biggest load out of the way. Now it's just time to finish off for the rest. It's 1.23. I want to be done soon because I'm absolutely disgusting and I need to shower and it's Halloween tonight or Halloween weekend. So I have plans to, wow, I'm sweating. I just got back to the apartment that I'm moving out of and I am so hungry and my feet hurt so bad. I am going to eat lunch and watch an episode of Love Island because I need a break. I have some leftovers that I heated up. It's like a taco bowl situation. And I'm just gonna sit here and relax and watch Love Island because my feet are so sore. I was like going up and down three flights of steps. So we deserve this break. Ugh, I don't want to move out of this place. It's so cute and I love it. I love the new place. But I don't know. Something about this place. It was just really, it was so cute. But anyway, let's eat. Hey guys, I'm in my new space. Um, I almost have everything moved in for my car. But I wanted to show you guys a little like tour of my room. So it's an absolute wreck but this is my room it's so bright and spacious I have a little work desk and the cutest little coffee setup a TV a dresser I have a very large walk-in closet which is amazing and then to show you the bathroom I have a super big bathroom. I am so obsessed <sighs> with the mirrors. So much, great lighting, anyway. But this is the setup. I am on the third floor, so I have like my own little space up here. And then if I go up one more floor, there is a rooftop patio, which I will go look at later. But yeah, that's my new space. I'm gonna finish moving some stuff in. I doubt I'll get everything unpacked tonight because it's already almost three o'clock, I think. No, it's 3.30 right now, and um, I probably have to start getting ready soon for Halloween. So, at least we've got our stuff moved over here, which is the most important thing. And then the easiest part is just putting stuff away, so. But anyway, that's my space. <laughs> There's a little cat in here. She's so cute. Um, but anyway, I'm going to keep on unpacking 
it's been a day I am so exhausted and so gross and it's been so hot and my spray tan is like a mess I need to rinse it off and anyway I'm out of breath I need to go finish the rest of my unpacking for my car but I figured I would show you guys my little space and I love it so it'll be a good fit hey guys it is sunday i didn't check in after all of the moving stuff from yesterday but it's official i am now in my new place i finished moving out everything this morning and we locked the door and everything is out of that old place so i'm in my room now it is it's an absolute disaster but we are gonna get it unpacked today i just have a lot of like boxes and thank god i have like a really really big master closet because i'll have to I'll have a lot of space to put like all my storage stuff i don't really have a whole lot but i'm just excited to get organized get unpacked um and get comfortable in my new space i really really love it and I'm going to be here for sure, I think, until about February, unless anything changes, but I'll be here till February at least, um, possibly longer, just depending. Um, being a travel nurse, like, I can always up and travel wherever I want to when my contract's over, so I think I'll still want to be in Arizona for a little longer, especially since, like, all of the country's going to be freezing in February. Um... So, I plan to make this space my home for a while, and yeah, I really love being able to move often because it gives you like a sense of like a new space for a new chapter, or it just like ignites like a creativity spark, if that makes sense. Um, so, in this little, this room is so cute, and it's representative of the whole entire house, like the whole entire house is so cute like also wait I don't know if I showed you guys my bathroom but this bathroom is insane like it's so big I'm obsessed so we love it but I oh my gosh another thing to say is so I'm on the third floor and when I woke up this morning, my calves, and they're still crazy sore, like it feels like I went through like a calf workout routine and it's like hindering me from wanting to go to the gym today because like they are literally so sore that like every like step I feel like tension. So I think we're just going to take the day to unpack and organize and everything but this concludes this vlog um i guess i can share like a couple tips like for moving i think like my biggest tip is to declutter as much as you can get rid of a lot of clothes that you don't wear that you don't need because you don't need to lug all that excess stuff one thing that i learned that i will need to apply for when I actually move next is I didn't fit all my stuff in my car in one load and that's something that's really important that I need to do especially if I ever move states cities I mean which I will at some point right because I'm a travel nurse but whenever I move to the next place I need it all to fit in one car in one like car load so my idea for my clothes because I, I think took up a lot of like space when you think about it is I'm gonna do the vacuum seal um, like a vacuum seal press thing so I think you can compress a lot of stuff in that and so I'm gonna give that a try next move and see if that can help because I love clothes and I shop all the time but definitely like declutter like go through all the stuff you have like your bathroom supplies like I know us girls like we collect so much stuff like so many lotions or just all of these like things that we literally don't use or don't need so um decluttering like before the move was so beneficial because if i didn't i would have so much more stuff to take along with me but 
the move went really well it didn't take very long but i my legs are just so sore and now i just have like a room full of crap that i need to unpack and put away so yeah this is this is concluding my vlog for the day i hope you guys have the best week ahead and i will see you guys in the next video Mwah.